So here's some purslane and it's blooming. What's crazy is here's the spotted spurge right next to it. You gotta be careful. Oops, I pulled up the purslane. <laughs> it's mixed in with it. So anyway, oh well, that one came up. <laughs> uh, but let's do a little identification first. So here's the spotted spurge and here's the purslane. So you notice with the purslane, the stems are not hairy. Hard to see, but these stems are hairy. Let's see if I can focus in on that for you. But this has hairy stems. This doesn't. If I break purslane open, purslane, purslane, I've heard it called both. If I break it open, it's got a clear sap. Look at that, and you can see there's no milky sap. But if I break the spotted spurge open, see the milky sap? That's the easiest way to tell the two apart. Purslane will never have a milky sap. That's more useful than using the hairy stems to identify spotted spurge because spotted spurge, the hairs are so small, you may miss that. But this milky sap, it's hard to miss. But look at this purslane as it gets older, it gets out in the sun, look how red that gets. Really nutritious. One of the best plants to grow. As you can see, I'm growing it in here as a ground cover for all of my other plants. So I've got pepper plants, that's bell pepper there, um, another bell pepper, uh, serrano peppers here, and then I've got the purslane growing at the base as a ground cover. It's one of my, I need to do some weed, weeding, <laughs> but you can see it works really good as a ground cover. And it doesn't, really affect the growth of these other plants. 